All right, Hendrickson Hawks, you guys are coming off another district championship two years in a row. Uh, what do you guys want to accomplish this year? Another one. Uh, third year. Uh, I, I think it's our third year in this district. Or actually, we're in a new district now. But uh, just another one. We have some guys who can help us do big things, a lot of returners. Uh, we have four or five new coaches, uh, some, some coaches left. But uh, we're, we're going to be fine. I, I just can't wait to get out here, have our first game, and, you know, have the season rolling. You know, there's, you guys got those two district champions the last two years, but Westlake got you both times in the first round. Um, you know, how does Hendrickson get over that hump? Uh, we have to execute better, especially when it gets time to playoffs. Uh, you know, we, we run the district, per se, but when it comes to the playoffs, we have to have a better transition from district to playoffs, be more in tune, uh, retain information better, and, and executing on the field, and we'll be fine. Now, in the secondary, you guys have had a lot of talent come through the past couple of years. Uh, Chance Waz and Trey Mosey there last year. You're going to Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, Keyshawn Somerville is the Baylor commit. Uh, yeah. Lots of other talent. You know, what's it like playing on a defense with so many talented guys who are going to be playing you know, on Saturday in a couple of years? Uh, it makes you more confident. Uh, it lets you know that you can trust the guys left and right to you and, and behind you as well. Uh, trust that they'll make plays. You know, um, there's, there's always missed tackles, but when it comes to – Guys in this secondary, uh, you can almost guarantee they'll make the play, and, and if not, someone else will make it. So it, it's good knowing that you have great help behind you. Dude, do you guys enjoy having that pressure, enjoy having that target? Because uh, a lot of people are gunning for you guys. Yeah, uh, we love it, uh, especially Coach Killing. We're always talking about it. So it keeps us motivated, keeps us hyped, you know, keeps that swag going in us, and uh, we're just ready to get after it. Yeah, what is it you guys have Rouse coming in this year? Although you guys have played them the last couple of years in a non-district play, but they'll be in your district this year. What are you expecting out of this district? Uh, I think we play Rouse's tenth game of the season. Uh, this year we're doing a little, we're doing things a little different. We used to have uh, our bye week uh, where we're playing Rouse. And this year we have it in the middle of the season, so that could either either help us or hurt us. So, but when it comes to Rouse, we're just ready to execute like we've been doing. Uh, make sure. We start, we end the season the way we start the season. You know, hopefully we start the season well. But, um, you know, just stay stay aligned with the coaches, stay aligned with your teammates, and, and keep pushing each other to get better. You, your defense last year opened the season with two shutouts, put out good numbers throughout the entire season. Yeah. Even in the loss to West, they only gave up 17. Yeah. You know, what's it been like playing on this defense and helping make this defense one of the area's best? Oh, it's been fun, man. Uh, I miss those guys, Chance, uh, Trey, you know, uh, Samaja on offense, Xavier on offense as well. But you know, it's, it's, it's our turn. You know, I'm probably, by, by these younger guys, I'm probably seen as the captain. So I have to keep it rolling, uh, keep everybody hyped, keep everybody motivated, keep coaching up as the best as I can. And, you know, just make sure we're all on board and ready to execute together. And what is it like being a senior now and having, you know, the responsibility of being a leader and, you know, not deferring to, you know, guys like Chance and yeah. Xavier and Samaje? Uh, it, it's, it's humbling, uh, you know, for the fact that I've been able to accomplish the things that I've been able to accomplish and guys pay homage to that and, and you know, look at me as someone uh, from a leader figure. Uh, it humbles me and it just makes me want to make them proud while also producing at the best ability that I can.